Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Tonight, uh, we got that Black Bear grind going. Let's see if we can get that, uh, Great One Black Bear to show up. Really hoping that it'll happen soon. I mean, at this point, we're at, like, 4,000 kills, so... We desperately need it to happen, guys. We desperately need it to happen. How's it going, RPG? How's it going, Bobby? How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing amazing. Glad you like it, Daniel. I'm doing good, Lauren. I'm doing good. Oh, really, Johnny? That's amazing. Holy. I did not know. I did not know about that. Oh, there's that stand. All right. Let's go check our favorite zone down here. We're going to head to all of the zones we plan to hunt just to make sure that they are uh, activated. Ooh, nice, Nighthawk. That's insane. And you broke your thumb. Ooh, dude, that's rough. That's like an insane thing and a terrible thing. Oh, gosh, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. But congrats on the Diamond Eclipse Goldeneye. That, that's a crazy trophy. Nice, Johnny. That's amazing. Let's get a great one today. We're going to do our best, Garrett. We're going to do our best. Wait, where'd my... There's my stand. I was going to say, where'd it go? Am I blind? Apparently, I was. Okay, nothing here yet. Usually how it is, though. We're just going to go to all of our zones. I'm going to try something different than what we normally do. I'm going to try and hunt just a few of our favorite zones. We've been kind of like bouncing across all the areas that we have tented up. And then at the end of last stream that we were hunting, uh, the last stream we were hunting bears in at least, we were hunting just like these three zones and then I think this one up here and maybe this one. And we were getting good respawns, so we'll see. We'll try it out. Oh, no worries, Stephanie. No worries. Don't tell Bree I know, right, Johnny? <laughs> Let's see, nothing there. Favorite fur type for the black bear, great one. My favorite fur type is the chestnut. It looks amazing. Chestnut is my favorite. And then I would say the cream and the spirit are kind of tied for second. I'd say spirit's second actually. Really? Mountain lions? Are you kidding me? Get out of here, you stupid mountain lion. Nobody likes you. It's a bro, bro. How's it going? A month in the summer, do they usually make a new map? Uh, it's usually June and December as the months that they do it. Uh, yes, Brober, you did. You did. <laughs> hey, Curly, how's it going, dude? Yeah, we've been all good. We've been doing great. Hope you've been doing good as well. Let's go see if this bear is over here. Yeah, hopefully, Johnny, hopefully. I cannot wait to see what they've got in store. At this point, we're just we're just dying for some more content, man. We're just dying for some more content. We've had little updates here and there. But we need a new map. We need a new map to get the excitement going again. Cause like I don't really uh have much else that I want to do besides like grinding and of course like Running around on Revon Tuli and doing the kind of like fun videos that I've been recently. Having a new map always makes it so much more interesting because I get to explore a new reserve with uh, hopefully new species. All right, no worries, bro. No worries. No, Trick Flow. That's how the game used to be. That was the meta for the longest time because there was a, a completely different scoring system. 
I did the same thing. In fact, Brainshot and Cape Buffalo and uh, Water Buffalo was the meta for getting diamond on them. Back in the day, you had to Brainshot Capes and Water Buffalo, and you had to Spine Shot everything else if you wanted to guarantee 100% quick kill, because quick kill would actually make your diamond not be a diamond back in the day. Obviously, it's different now, but back then, it was a major thing. It was quite crazy. Yeah, definitely, Flight, definitely. Yeah, lung shots were awful back with the old scoring system. Like, it was terrible. Nice, Nighthawk, nice. That's awesome. Love those golden eye. I don't know if I have any trophy golden eyes myself. I don't know if I've got any. I think I had some when early access was happening for Rev, but I don't think I've got any since then. What would be my number one pick for a new species? Pure David's deer, easily. Would love to see the Pure David's deer, they're so cool. They are such a cool, cool species. Nice, pop those two bears, beautiful. Love to see it. Am I doing HM for bears? No, the only thing that we're leaving for bears is level ones and twos, so we're not really doing herd management. Herd management would require would require so many more like uh, bears to be left, and uh, we're really only leaving them if they're a one or a two, and those are pretty rare. Yeah, there is a great one, black bear, and it's actually pretty cool looking. It's just so rare because nobody wants to hunt for them. There's not a lot of people that uh, are committed enough to dedicate all their time to a night grind for a species that moves around constantly and takes forever to, like, get into a consistent state. Oh, I promised bears yesterday, Kaylee, and then my internet was having problems. So uh, we ended up postponing it. And so we're doing the bear stream today. I was going to do it earlier, but... I had a lot of uh, errands to run. I had to get like a, uh, had to get new internet because um, the internet is actually my uh, brother-in-law's, right? But now that now that uh, he's finally moving into his own place, he's obviously going to take the internet with him because he's the one who is uh, who is who has his name in it or ha who has it in his name, I should say. So. We swapped over to our own internet now. And so we uh, had to go get that set up today. And then we had a few other things to do as well. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. Grinding species that have solo zones is rough. It is. It is rough. Very, very rough. I've killed zero Great One Bears Unknown. It's the only Great One I don't have. It is so tough to get these Great One Bears. Yeah, lions are very fun, Johnny. And to an extent, there is some areas where Black Bear are just as consistent. I mean, the zone that we just left, that, that spot's been really good for me. So I can't complain. It, it's actually been pretty good. I just wish every... Lake was that consistent. Let's go ahead and check this zone out. Yeah, I bet dynamic. I'm going to try and buckle down on this grind and get at it a little bit more because I do feel like we need to work towards getting this or it's just going to drive me crazy that I don't have one. Anything over there? Hello! Little bears. You guys want to come out and play? Apparently not. Apparently not. This one hasn't had anything recently, so that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. And Caitlin has too. I, I know. I don't get it. <laughs> hey, P&J Outfitters. How's it going, dude?
Uh, there's a lot of ways you can get a diamond, Rikers. I've got quite a few guides on the channel that'll uh, show you how to do that as well. I would recommend checking out the guides playlist. Tons of guides in there that'll be very helpful. Um, make sure that when you're looking at it though, to look for guides that are more recent. Because those will be the most accurate and up to date. Yeah, I've got a lot of guides. A lot of guides to help find diamonds and stuff like that. Nothing here. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. I just wanna see. I wanna see if we can just main menu and then immediately have more bears here. That'd be wonderful. It'd be wonderful. Hey Cooper, how's it going? Planning on getting Modern Rifle and High Tech uh, Game Pass with Weapon Pack 2? Nice, Michael. That's awesome. Definitely some good DLCs. Oh, nice, Dynamic. Nice. Hey, Blayton, how's it going? Let's see what do we got here. Oh, instantaneous, huh? Nothing over there. Oh, that's what's spooking him off. <laughs> Get over here, you stupid mountain lion. Gosh, those mountain lions are the, the, the bane of my existence, man. The bane of my existence. I'm doing good, Michael. I'm doing good. Hey, Monev, how's it going? You haven't missed anything too crazy yet. Just uh, been smoking a few bears here and there. Just got a few of them down. Oh, that's another male track. There's at least one more male here. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, I agree, G Dog. Those mountain lions are just crazy. Hey, KML, how's it going? Sorry, I was talking to my wife for a second. Switch mountain lions with mountain goats? I know, right? Just give us more mountain goats, less mountain lions, and everybody would be happy. Everybody would be happy. That would be the dream. What DLC map should you get first? I recommend Rev on Tule Coast. It's got the most species of any map, as well as having a very large amount of small game and bird species. Um, it's also got white-tailed deer, moose, brown bear. It's got a very good variety of animals, like a very good variety. Definitely recommend it. Uh, tomorrow, Oofoof. We'll be doing it tomorrow. Hey, Dusky, how's it going? Good to see ya. Yeah, Johnny. You, you went crazy with those mountain lions for a while. Like, absolutely crazy. This zone has been weird for me. I tried hunting it the other night, guys, and there was nothing. I don't know what's up with it. But there's been nothing there recently. Curious where they went. I'll bet they're somewhere close. Like maybe down here even. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Cody. That'd be awesome. Best ways to get XP? Lions. Lions give a lot of XP. 
Like, some of the males give over 400 experience. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. I mean, in real life, a mountain lion wouldn't be feeding that much, right? I mean, they, they kill one deer, they got food for a little bit. There's a four right there. That's where one of our males is. Nothing close. What time do Black Bear drink? I believe it is... I'm trying to remember. What is the exact time they drink? It's like 20 to 24, I think. Or 20 to 0. 20 to 0, I guess, would be the way to say it. 20 to 0. It's a very unfortunate drink time. Not too many people enjoy hunting at night. I certainly don't. Got him. What rifle is that? The 338 bolt action. It's from the uh, Hunter Power Pack. I believe that's what it's called. The Hunter Power Pack. They should have only a one hour feed time uh, at three to four, then eight to nine. The rest of the time should be resting. Except for zero to three for drink time. Yeah, that'd be good, Johnny. I, I just want the mountain lions to be away from drinking animals, you know? Like, if a bear is drinking, why are the mountain lions, you know, feeding and resting by them? Like, come on, man. Just asking for trouble. Ooh, that's awesome, Ty. That is awesome. That's going to be real fun, man. It's going to be real fun. Uh, yeah, Terraria. I made one with Lady Legend recently. That one should have exactly what you're looking for. Kind of like a setup guide and like general tips guide. What's my overall favorite DLC? Oh, that is such a tough one, man. There's there's too many good DLCs. Like I I feel like there's so many that are necessity. Oh, that's a male too. What? Two males over there. But yeah, ones like the tripod DLC and the tent DLC. Like those are necessities in my book. So those have to be like a couple of my favorites. But, like, technically all the maps are a DLC as well. So, like, Revon Tuli Coast and Tiabaroa and Silver Ridge. Like, they're all up there as my favorite DLCs as well. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Oh, definitely, Johnny. Oh, probably, bro, bro. Wouldn't doubt it. Those links do be doing that, you know. Those links do be doing links things, you know. Hey, Clever Bison. Just got an albino lynx from Medved. Nice. Call the wild kid. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Hey, Carol. Yeah, I miss the old, uh, the old bear hunting on Silver Ridge. It was so good before. I'm curious why they made it, like, at night. Just doesn't seem right. If anything, wouldn't bears be like, bears are kind of nocturnal, right? So wouldn't they be like hunting? I feel like they'd be hunting at night, not drinking. That is a little bit strange. It is a little bit strange that they chose to make them uh, drink at 20 to zero, like, Gosh. Very unfortunate. Do you think the 338 was worth the hype? No, not really. It's definitely not modeled off of 338 Lapua. Like, we we thought it was going to be based on the 338 Lapua, so we thought it was going to be crazy good. But in reality, it seems to be based off the 338 Winchester. 338 Win Mag. Which is unfortunate, because that makes it perform not nearly as good. But it is what it is, you know. 
It's got uses. Like, I, I love it for bears. I love it for the bears. And that's only because you can get double lung all the time. If you can get double lung reliably, it's really good. But the problem is, like, it's got lower penetration than the 300. So on a lot of the bigger animals, like Cape Buffalo, um, stuff like moose, you can't get double lung. So it comes down to, like, which one is better with single lung damage and also better at heart shots. And the 300 has better penetration, so it ends up taking the crown there. But for someone like bears, 330 is actually pretty good. They did, Johnny? I didn't know about that. There's so many little things that I, I don't even realize when I'm playing. Six hundred kills into my whitetail grind. I have only one diamond, but I have two melas. Not bad, G Dog. That's actually kind of lucky having that many melas. That's very lucky. What the? There it is. Oh, that's from the mountain line. I actually have not main menued. Yeah, I haven't been able to either, Johnny. I think moose are just like extra tough for some for some unknown reason. Yeah, that was a sad time when the 22 Hornet got nerfed. That thing didn't need to be nerfed. If anything, it needed to be buffed more. But they decided to nerf it. Have I ever killed the Black Bear Great One? No, Statler, I haven't. That's why we're still grinding for it. Like, I, I really need a Great One Black Bear. We're at almost 4,000 kills with nothing. What's up with my game? Taking forever to load. Hello? What did I do? <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna have to close the game. I think I bugged it out. We'll just Alt F4. I think I double clicked on the main menu button so it, it like tried to go twice. What was my longest moose grind? 4,500 kills. Welcome back, Brobra. Hey, Chip, how's it going? My gosh, that pun. Holy. <laughs> yeah, a few times, Sai. A few times. Yeah, cheesy. I remember you, dude. Got a nine legendary troll mountain lion. Ooh, unfortunate. One, two, three. Sorry, a troll, dude. Oh, gotcha, bro. We gotcha. Gotcha, dude. So there's no penetration difference at all, Johnny? It sure feels like there is. Cause I had some quartering shots on Moose that the 338 just could not make. But then I was able to make them with the 300. I don't know. It feels like there's a difference. May maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy. What's my favorite diamond? I would say probably the red deer still. Even though I've seen a billion of them, the red deer diamond is still one of my favorites of all time. It's just so massive. Like you can't go wrong. There was another male. Never fails. Always another male. Is the 308 good on the bear? Uh, yeah, it's decent on them. It's definitely not bad. I wouldn't consider it like my go-to, but it's it's definitely not bad. It, it can work. A lot of the four to eight rifles that get used commonly, like the 308, the uh, the other 308, obviously, the 30 out six, the M1, 303, like all those can be used on bears with decent success, but 300 and 338 will just kill them quicker. Ain't okay, nothing there.
How many kills in am I? About 4,000, Talon. About 4,000 for this bear. Just hit zero. Let's reset the time. Let's see what we got going now. Let's go to 23. Nothing there. Head over here real quick. Uh, bear drink time is from 20 to zero, uh, Sniper Legend. Yeah, for me, like, I can't give up at this point, right? Like, I put so much time into it. I can't give up. I, I gotta keep going until we eventually get it. Or else it's it's just gonna feel like I wasted my time. There we go. Holy mountain lions, man. I uh, no, Daniel. I don't think I saw it. I don't believe I did. Did that get it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Where did this guy go? He's not floating. We're gonna need the dog for this one. I don't see this thing. Come on, Hunter. Why aren't you searching for the blood, dude? You just sitting here. Oh, that's a male. My dog's broke. My dog's broke. He's staring at a tent while searching for blood. <laughs> hey, lady, how's it going? Good to see you. The grind is going as I would expect with bears. Not much going on. <laughs> a lot of small bears. A lot of inconsistencies. Typical bear stuff. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, though. You have all three Quattro story mission wolves. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, however, I believe that I messed one of them up, so that's a little unfortunate, but I do have them all. I don't know where this bear has gone. Like, Wait, what the? Oh, there's a male there now. Holy. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. The bears are actually being good now. I, I just wish I could figure out where this one went. It didn't float. I'm like 99% sure. But it's it's gone. Alright, I, I guess we'll just jump on the ATV and run around. Yeah, the bears are rough. They're, they're so rough. Like, my gosh. I mean, at this point, I'm at like 4,000 kills. Still haven't seen this thing show up. I still can't believe you got that crazy uh, moose the other day. That was insane. That birch is so beautiful. I I so badly want a fabled birch and the typical wreck. So that that was literally my dream combo that she got. Just I'm so jealous. That thing was so good. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Exactly. Yeah, hopefully, lady. That that would be the dream. I would love it if we could get a couple of them, like, back to back. After after all these kills, I feel like I got to. I feel like I'm due for a couple of them. Alright, let's head over to here. It's probably had enough time to get a couple there. 
Hey, Ender, how's it going? Finally ended that dry streak of no rares on the Red Deer grind after 3k kills. Got a Mellow to spawn, then about 35 kills, later got another. Dude, that is crazy. Two Mellows within that short amount of time? Like, within 35 kills of each other? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. When do bears drink on Layton? Same time as Silver Ridge. Zero, or, uh, 20 to zero. Sadly, they drink at night. When will they start giving us daytime drink zones for stuff like bears? I so badly want them. Okay, this is the little guy that keeps getting away every run. Didn't get the second shot off, but he's going down. Both were golds? That is pretty lucky, dude. That's really lucky. Oh. Hey, Zoe, how's it going? Hey, Maverick. No trophies yet. Am I using HM for the bears? No, I'm not. Um, I, I, I'm kind of doing like a 50-50 of sorts. I'm leaving level ones and twos, but that's it. Like if I get a one or a two to spawn, I'll leave it, but everything else I'm just shooting. I can't bring myself to do herd management on bears. It, it just doesn't seem like it would be a very fun grind. It's like worse than the moose. Moose are not fun to manage, so I couldn't imagine with bears. It's definitely not like how it used to be with the bears. With the with the way they used to be, I'd totally manage them, but really wish they would bring the bears back to how good they used to be. To be honest, though, I've got the bears in a pretty good state. Like, I've decided to limit the areas that I'm hunting. I'm only bouncing between like four lakes now, and it's actually going pretty well. They're being a lot more consistent now that I've started doing this. All right, we don't have a second one running. Nice, Clixie, that's awesome. I hope you have fun with that, dude. Hopefully you get something good. Hopefully you get yourself a turkey. 30 bears minimum per run, that is crazy, Cooper. That's, that's insane. Hey, Kaylee, how's it going? You think they need to make an albino black bear? Definitely, Carol. That is, like, a necessity. I honestly don't know why they don't already have an albino. Because in real life, albino black bear are a thing. I feel like it would make sense to bring them to the game. At 700-something kills on the black bears, then quit after they move them around. I don't blame you, G-Dog. It's definitely a lot more difficult to get a uh, grind going now than it used to be. But it's definitely still possible. We've done okay. As always, it's just a matter of like figuring out what's your consistent uh, parts of the map where you're always getting males. But with the bears, with the way they have them set up, it takes a lot longer to figure out what's consistent. That's for sure. Me too, Johnny. Me too. Do I have a favorite bear fur? Yes, I do. The Fabled Chestnut. Fabled Chestnut? And then I'd say it's like a tie for second place between Spirit and Fabled Cream. Like those are my top three, the Chestnut, Cream, and Spirit. If I get any of those, I will be so happy. At this point though, I'll just take any bear. Yeah, the Fabled Cream is nice optic. Uh, Caitlin got one of those recently and it looks really cool. Uh, Caitlin actually gave me the, uh, screenshot to make the thumbnail with, so the, uh, screen sh the, uh, thumbnail that we're using right now, it's got the, uh, it's got a picture of one of Caitlin, or both of Caitlin's Great One Bears. Thank you, lady. Hopefully we'll get a couple. I, I just want one. Like, if I can just get one, I'll be happy. If we get two, then even better. Caitlin, who's that nerd? I don't know. Some nerd. Holy Brober's back. He was gone for like five minutes and like the world just fell apart. Oh, there's the bears. Oh, legendary. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Oh my gosh. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh my gosh. 
The legendary black bear is in the house. I gotta get a tent uh, over this zone so that I can just quickly claim them because I, I always get consistent bears here. Like, always get consistent bears here. That is so cool. That is so cool. Look at that beauty. Let's hope this makes it. Let's hope this thing makes it. I believe the last one we got trolled. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, let's get lined up on him. I don't know if I trust this angle, but I don't want to do the 22 trick because that, uh... That whole glitch with them standing up, but not actually showing that they've stood up is bad. So, I think we'll just... We got it. There we go. Nice. We got them both. Wow, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Hey, Triple Tine, how's it going? You're saying 22.90? We'll see, Kaylee. We'll see. Please be a diamond. Please be a diamond. Where am I on the map? Right up here next to Mountain Lion Outpost. This lake has always been really good for me. It only ever has like one or two different uh, males here. But it's consistently one or two, so I can always rely on it to have a couple. Yeah, Cheesy, we smoked him. Absolutely smoked him. Now let's just hope he makes it. Um, I believe this is him right here. Yes, yeah, the six. There's our level nine. Please make it. It's a diamond. 23-24. Holy. Let's go. What a thing to get. Love to see it. You love to see it, man. Wow. That is awesome. Thank you, lady. Holy. Yeah, it's a big one, Optic. It's not too bad. I believe they max at 24. That's like 0.44 above diamond. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Now, let's see if we can keep that streak up and uh, get a great one to pop out tonight. That would be just amazing. I want to go grab a tent from somewhere, though. Uh, do I actually have? Oh, I do have a spot for a tent. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to place it over here. I think I can place one here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, that's that's amazing. There we go. Now, let's get over to my favorite uh, favorite zone before the time is done. It's got a male female gray wolf. Nice, Cooper. That's awesome, dude. Should make that a short? It probably will be, Papa. It'll either be a short or we'll end up making it a uh, into a full-length video. I might just put in a highlights video. Oh, yeah. We got to get that great one tonight. We got to. It's been too long. It's been too many streams. Too many sleepless nights over the, like, what year that it's been released. It's got to spawn soon. I saw something. Level 5, okay. Not exactly a great one, but it's a bear. I'm so sorry, sir, but this is the fastest way. I, I am so sorry. Got a diamond wolf and a troll red deer today. Nice, dude. Unfortunate that it trolled you, but still pretty cool. Alright, it died. Thankfully, 338 has enough pen to get through to probably non-vitals. Who knows? Maybe we even spined it. Oh, wow. We, it did not go far. I guess butt shots are the meta for bears, apparently. Yep. Yep. Good to know. Good to know that we can double butt shot a bear and it'll die pretty much on the spot. That's going to save us a lot of time that we would normally be waiting for them to turn. Thank you, OA. We're going to do our best. I believe. 
I believe. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, froze for a second. Nothing there. Okay, before the time runs up, let's go to this zone over here and take a quick look. The Great One Chant. Oh, should we do the Great One Chant? We haven't done that in a bit. We haven't done the Great One Chant in a bit. All right, I right, we'll, we'll have to do it. G R. E A T. One, 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 one for me. Great one. If it doesn't show up after that, then I'm going to be mad offended. He's got to show up after the great one chant. That's like the rules. All right, Cooper, no worries. No worries. Yeah, true. I guess double non-vitals does basically mean vitals. It, it basically equals the same kill time as a vital hit. Probably why it did so decent on that bear. That's a four. Man, I don't even know how I'm going to react when we end up finding a great one bear. Like, how am I going to know if it's a great one? Am I going to spot it and see the 10? Am I going to see that it's bigger than the other bears and know immediately before I've even spotted it? Will I see the coloration through the grass and just know that it's got a special color? Like, how are we going to find... Ah, man, I just can't even... I can't even begin to imagine how crazy it's going to be when we finally spot one. Do we got any over here? We usually have one that likes to run through here. I don't see anything, though. Alright, later, bro, bro. Later, dude. How excited would you be if it did spawn? I, you'd probably hear me scream louder than I've ever screamed. And I mean, if you've seen any of my previous reactions, I've reacted pretty absurdly before. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we see a great one bear. Like <laughs> it's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. They are coy. That's the point. That's the only way that it works. You have to make the chant like super cheesy and corny. And th that's the only way the great one bear will show up. If I, if I did like a normal, like well thought out chant, it wouldn't show up. It would know that it's planned, right? He moved. Okay, yeah, maybe that is the most insane reaction I've had. You might be right. It might be hard to top that one. But I mean, to be fair, that was for a super rare moose. Like, I, I guess it's natural that my reaction would be crazy for something like that. Yeah, probably, Michael. Probably. Although I'm already convinced the bears do. Those are pretty good looking bears on the thumbnail. I know, right, Caitlin? I wonder where I got those those bears from. Jeez. Feel like I've seen somebody that's got both those those great one bears. Just realized they haven't reused any ammo for rifles from map DLCs for weapon packs. Only base game ammo slash new ammo for weapon packs. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right, Johnny. Wow. I wonder if they'll ever do different versions of some of the DLC rifles. That'd be cool. Five over there. So I'm going to try not going to the main menu. I'm going to see if, since the bears are all technically solos, do we even need to main menu? I think as long as we claim everything, we shouldn't need to main menu. Ooh, that timing. Wow, I'm surprised we hit that. I am... I am blown away that we hit that shot. Wow. That's crazy. Am I streaming tomorrow? What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday, which is usually a day that I do recording. Uh, so in other words, we'll see. Possibly. But if I do, it'll be later in the day. Usually on Wednesday and Saturday, I just record. But occasionally, if I do decide to do a stream, it'll be an evening stream similar to this one. We'll see, though. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of videos I'd like to get done, so we'll see. Also, guys, tomorrow is episode two of the no DLC playthrough. Although, uh, I mean, technically it's like a minimal DLC playthrough, but I mean, minimal DLC playthrough doesn't sound as good as no DLC. So we're calling it no DLC. And as of now, I have not decided what two maps we're going to introduce to the series. 
I had a few people asking why I would call it a no DLC playthrough if I'm going to use two DLC maps and well the short of it is if I just use the two base game maps it would be a super short series like it'd be done in like less than 10 episodes and most people would want a longer series than that and so to make it so we have a lot of uh, stuff to do in the series so that it can last longer we're gonna introduce two like DLC maps because they're a bit different than like DLC weapons and tripods like it's still very much gonna be a no DLC playthrough because I mean let's face it the weapon packs and the equipment packs like the tripods we kind of like rely on those for everything we do in this game so I really do think that it's gonna be quite a test of not only like our skill but also how we can adapt to not having a lot of stuff we're used to having but I'm very excited for it I, I had a blast recording the first two episodes really excited to post episode two tomorrow and I hope that you guys are just as excited to watch it on Tuesday I thought it was Friday it's been a long week oh those are those that that must be a rough week Brennan that must be a rough one what about uncut hunts I think I'll probably record one tomorrow I'll have to talk to Brober and see if he wants to jump in but uh like uncut hunts I try to always have a guest for it because it's very hard to talk for like 30 minutes straight without cutting when it's just me so I'll probably end up doing one with Brober tomorrow I'll have to talk to him and see what time works for him but yeah there'll be another uncut hunts for sure I had fun doing episode one of that. Oh no, Johnny. Rip. Yeah, Johnny got his name back. Uh, JR, he did. Hey, Mr. Raptor. How's it going, dude? Hey, Nick. You need to use HM and see what happens. Like on the, on the No DLC series or with the bears? With the bears, I, I don't know if I want to. I mean, maybe we could manage a couple lakes. A couple of the lakes that I don't want to hunt. Maybe. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through the uh, time it takes to start up an HM grind with bears. It would be a long grind. I kind of like just shooting everything for the bears, to be honest. All right. What do we have here? Nothing. Okay. I think for the most part, we are getting respawns without having to go to the main menu, which is nice. Some of them are missing, but that could just be because of the uh, time reset. No, piebald mallards are not rare, Bram. They are not rare. Oh, what the? I forgot a bear over here. Wish I'd remember that earlier. I mean, not gonna lie, like we haven't gone to the main menu in like two runs and they're actually being consistent. Do we not need to main menu after every run for bears? Like, are they actually consistent enough? I, I think it's gotta be because they're solos. Like all bears are solos. So technically they have no like extra herd. So they can't be spooked after they respawn. Like usually with like whitetail, the rest of the herd will still be nervous, so they won't come back to their drink zone immediately. But with bears, they're all solos, so if we shoot one, its respawn is not going to be uh, nervous. That's actually pretty crazy. We're killing so many bears. I think we may have found the new way that we're going to do this. We're going to rotate on these like four or five lakes and not go to the main menu at all. Unless, of course, we just forget to claim a few and they run off. Then we'd have to, but... For the most part, we're just going to keep running these legs. It looks like it's working, so... You know, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As they would say. Nice little level 5 there. Let's take a quick look down here. Does that mean they won't switch zones? No, they do switch zones. They do. Uh, bear actually do that more than anything else, to be honest. Bears switch zones more than moose do. What does not claiming them do? Uh, if you don't claim them, they can't respawn. So, like, if, if you don't claim an animal, it's just laying dead on your map. So, if you haven't claimed it, 
you're not going to get a respawn, so it's good to claim them all. And if you have some that you didn't vitally hit that you maybe forgot, then going to the main menu will uh, give them their respawns, essentially. We got anything here? No, I don't think so. Nope, nothing over there. Bears get weird when you don't claim them. They definitely do, Caitlin. They definitely do. That goes for most species, though. Like, if you don't claim them, you're going to run into problems with just weird, inconsistent respawns. Definitely good to claim everything you can. All right, nothing there. Uh, where haven't we been to in a while? I mean, let's head up here again. We're just going to keep bouncing between zones. How many bears into the Great One grind? Around 4,000, Weston. Which is absurd to think about. 4,000 bears, gosh. When will it show up? Uh, yeah, Victor, that's really good, actually. I would say that's probably above average, even. What are the easiest diamonds? Uh, the Ibex species are pretty easy. Mountain lions are pretty easy if you don't mind hunting at night. Uh, turkeys can be easy at times. That's a seven. Nice. Love to see those sevens. There's our little pet level two. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. The way they just flop like that. <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. That's hilarious. There's some things in this game where, like, I don't know why it's so funny to me, but something like that is just hilarious the way they flop. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to maneuver around here. We're going to have to zigzag. Do our best here. Oh, there we go. What's my favorite gun? Whoa, 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 hold up. What is this? That's really close to our tent. Would that even render in? No, that wouldn't render in. It's a female, though, so that's not a big deal. But that is really close to the tent. I didn't know they could be that close. If I were only to have one map, what would it be? Rev on Thule Coast. Easily, DS. If I could only play one map, Rev on Thule. It's got so much of the stuff that I love in this game. It's got Whitetail. It's got Moose, so I could grind for both of my favorite great ones. It's got the uh, large variety of birds. It's got a few good small game species like Lynx and Raccoon Dog and the Mountain Hares. And then it's got Brown Bear as well. So I feel like Revon Tuli just has the most variety that if I could only play one map, it would easily be that one. Easy be Revon Tuli. Is spawning two legendary red deer in 200 kills good? Uh, yeah, Victor, that's about average. I, I'd say in most cases, like whitetail and red deer, you're going to get a level 9 every 100 kills or so. Sometimes less, even. You hope Africa 2.0 or Australia for the next map? That'd be incredible, Optic. That'd be so cool. Definitely the two most highly requested maps. Mountain Lion trolled on me the other day. Ooh, unfortunate OA. It happens, though, dude. It happens. We all get trolled. It's definitely unfortunate when it happens, but it happens to all of us. You'll, you'll get a diamond to make up for it at some point. What's my favorite gun? I would say my favorite gun overall is the 308 AR. Just so versatile and amazing to use. Not to mention, I just love the AR platform. 300 has to be up there, though. Hey, mythical. Nice. Love seeing those big males like that. Oh, my gosh. Well, that was satisfying. That was really satisfying.
Oh. I'm back here. Get in the stand. How did that shot not hit him? That second one seemed like it went through him. Oh gosh. Okay, he's going down. We made up for it at the end there. <laughs> Are mythicals good? Yeah, mythical is a uh, pretty high level bear. Bears go clear up to level nine, so a mythical would be the second highest level possible. Yeah, sometimes you got to, Weston. If they don't die on the first, then you shoot them again, and again, and again, and again. And if they're still not dead, again. And at that point, if they're not dead, you should probably just not even try. <laughs> first two shots were personal. Oh, yes. I'm surprised that second shot didn't hit. Not gonna lie. Like, after we hit him once, Surprised the follow-up didn't hit. I think it went through him, to be honest. Bears have had kind of like a hitbox issue for quite a while at this point. Wait. Oh, it did hit! He just didn't flinch! Oh, that is lovely shooting, by the way. We're really on point tonight, guys. We're really on point. I don't believe so, Ty. I don't believe so. That That's technically not possible. If somebody did that, I would be questioning their legitimacy. Why won't they add non-typicals? I mean, I don't know if it's a matter of them not doing it a 7mm. They just haven't done it yet. I'd like to think that they would eventually do it. I hope so, at least. If they don't, that would be a big mistake. Because, I mean, everybody loves non-typicals. All right, let's go ahead and maybe now's the time to main menu. So I think like two or three runs. And now I'm seeing a lot of nervous bears, so maybe we should bounce to the main menu. Poor bear. Yeah, that poor thing got smoked hardcore. Let's see what we got going now. Usually going to the main menu will get them to calm down and it'll also get any of the respawns back here, so... Let's see what we can get going. I mean, I'm just happy these bears have been semi-cooperative tonight. It's been somewhat pleasant to grind them for once. Which is a rarity with bears. What's the best map for geese? Ah, Rev on Tuli Coast. Definitely Rev on Tuli. Rev on Tuli has like, what, three different types? I think it's got three different types of geese, if I'm not mistaken, which is definitely the most in the game. Nice, G Dog. That's awesome, dude. That is really awesome. We got a mellow whitetail yesterday, but unfortunately, we messed up the shot. We ended up shooting in between the lungs because that's a thing. So that was rough. Okay, so we got that four there. Nice. Man, I can't believe that we're actually on a roll with bears. Like, I never thought that would happen. I never thought we'd get to a consistent state with these bears, but it's working. Yeah, Black Wolf, that was crazy. Corgis was popping off yesterday. Like, an, popping off an unbelievable amount. Is a guaranteed feral goat good on Tiawaroa? I'm assuming you mean guaranteed diamond. Uh, yeah. Feral goat are very difficult to get a diamond of. So anytime you can get one, that is definitely a feat. Okay, we just picked up tracks from another male bear. Yeah, 102 to 165. So there was another male bear here that we missed. Are mellow whitetail more rare than a great one? No, I believe great ones are more rare. 
Although, they might be around the same. Now that I think of it, I've killed more Great One Whitetail than I have Mellow Whitetail. At this point, we have 20 Great One Whitetail. And I'm pretty sure I've only got like 10 Mellow Whitetail, so... And that's over the course of 30,000 kills. Only like 10 Mellows. Maybe a little bit more than 10, but... Around 10. Pretty wild. Nice, Troy. That's a big one, dude. That is a big one. Any more bears? No, just the one. Okay. No, Ender. To be honest, man, I don't I don't get a lot of time to watch TV or like uh, Netflix or Hulu or any of those. Most of my time is spent making content here on the channel and spending time with my family. And then uh, whenever I do watch stuff, it's usually like YouTube videos. Usually like late at night when I'm editing or grinding, I'll uh, pop on a couple videos. But I don't really watch a lot of like TV shows. The only one I really pay attention to is like Fear the Walking Dead. You have one that scored like 218? That's pretty good, dude. The way I see it, any Diamond Feral Goat is really good because they are very difficult to make diamond. How many moose great ones do I have? Currently five great one moose. It's crazy. I've got 31 great ones, but 20 of them are whitetail. And then the rest are like red deer and moose, and I got no bears. I got no bears. We need to get a bear. We need to get a bear, guys. I believe we'll get it soon. Honestly, with a grind like this, persistence is going to be key. I just got to quit, like, getting burnt out on bear hunting. Because what always happens is I'll hunt them for a week. And then I'll stop hunting them. And, like, if I would just keep at it, doing, like, at least a couple runs a day, we'd be working towards that great one. I really hope we can get it soon, though. I believe, though. It's got to be close. At this rate, like, it's got to be close. There's no way that it's that far away. Do I like football? I used to watch football, but I don't anymore. I watched it when I was a kid, primarily. Oh, there's a bear. That's a five. Small male. But it's a male. Hey, country, how's it going? What's my favorite sport? Um, I don't really watch sports anymore, but when I did, it was NFL football and college football. That's really the only sport I ever got into was football. Okay, no males there. All right, let's go ahead and bounce back over to this lake. We'll uh, hit up this cluster in the top left. Hey, Fellblade, how's it going? TV is trash and I install TV for a living. It definitely is, Fellblade. Seems like uh, TV nowadays is primarily just a bunch of garbage that most people don't care to watch. Let's be honest, most people, whenever they buy, like, cable television... They're just trying to get, like, a few different channels. There's only a few channels they care about, and the rest are kind of just there. I haven't done TV in, like, ages. We've just used Hulu and Netflix for years now. No, I never played football, Nick. I enjoyed watching it, but I never played it myself. Jonathan, thank you so much for the uh, gifted membership, dude. Really appreciate it. And congrats to Alex. You just got gifted that membership. Enjoy all the uh, cool stuff that comes with that. Uh, yeah, Black Wolf Corgis did choose the uh, three the theme of this uh, stream. 
Yesterday, I, I asked Corgis, since Corgi was donating so much during that stream, I, I left it up to him as to what we would grind in the next stream, and he chose to do a bear stream, so... Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it last night like I wanted to. We ended up running into internet issues. And by the time I got it all resolved, it was already like 7 p.m. Which for a lot of people, like, I, I live on the West Coast, so 7 p.m. for me would be like 10 p.m. for anybody on the East Coast. So I decided to just postpone it till today. And so we got started at about 6 o'clock this time around. Still a little bit later than I wanted to, but... It was the best I was able to do because I was busy all day getting like new internet set up and getting uh, some shopping done because we need to go grocery shopping and stuff like that. Now we're here grinding some bears. Oh really, Fellblade? That does not surprise me at all. That does not surprise me. I think the majority of younger people just do Netflix and Hulu because it's a better deal, to be honest. Like, that's a mythical right there. Is it just me or does that mythical look a little bit lighter? Is it just me or does that look lighter? It's a dusky. That, that makes sense. It's a dusky. <laughs> and then the other one is a black. So dusky and black definitely is going to look different in the moonlight. No, the stream's good, guys. Refresh. Refresh. Uh, it looks like it briefly disconnected, but we only lost 150 frames. We're good. There. Put a message in chat for anybody that didn't see. Not sure what happened there. That was weird. I didn't actually disconnect. It did like a quick little, quick little buffer. That was it. Quick little buffer and now it's good. We only dropped 150 frames, so really strange. YouTube says that it's got excellent connections, so I don't know. Yeah, it was really strange. Not quite sure what happened. And no, it wasn't rare, guys. It wasn't rare for those of you that missed it. It was a dusky. So it was a dusky and the other one was a black fur variation. So it just made it look a little bit lighter, but it, it was just a dusky. Just a dusky. Uh, it should be good, Singer. It's looking good for me. Not dropping frames anymore. Let's head down here. Got your first albino Ibex. Nice, Eli. That is super awesome, dude. Is three rare fur types for red deer all spawned on the same lake good? I mean, yeah, anytime you get some rare fur types, that's good. But one thing to remember, Victor, is there's no, like, set time frame that you should be getting, like, rares or diamonds. Like, a lot of it is very heavily RNG-based. Especially with rares. Rares are completely random as far as we know, so... There isn't really like a baseline for how often you should be getting rares. It's kind of just like every everybody's a little bit different. We haven't had anything of this like in a little while. Like actually quite a while. Got your first time in Red Deer. Nice, Callum. That's awesome. Congratulations. Is there a free trophy lodge? Yes, there is. There is the uh, Leighton Lakes Trophy Cabin. That one is a completely free trophy lodge. It has places to put 
One of every base game animal. Okay, that's a small male track, but it's still a bear. Yeah, Black Wolf, of course I do. Of course I remember you. Nine times out of ten, if you talk in the chat, I'm gonna remember you. Just got your first albino moose. Nice, Tristan. That is super awesome. Albino moose looks so good. I really badly want to get a big albino moose. I, I've only been able to get a small level four, like a really small one. So we'll see if we can get a bigger one in the future. Um, I, I've already mentioned it quite a bit in the past, Karki. I, I stopped getting consistent respawns on Medved. It was breaking. So we went to Rev on Thule, and Rev has been much better. We were also like... 4,200 kills with no great one on Medved, so we switched maps. And literally 300 kills after switching, we got a great one. So I feel like it was the move. Nice, Cooper, that's awesome. What is the best map to get first? Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, Rev on Thule Coast has a lot of variety for hunting. But Yukon has the 300 Magnum and Verhonga is like really crazy. It's really cool. So like, there, oh man, there's a lot of good options for your first DLC map. I, I personally would say Rev on Thule just because there's so much replayability on that map. So many different things to hunt. Most animals of any map. It's just a masterpiece, like for real. Just a masterpiece. It is, lady. Like, RNG can be wild. It can be absolutely crazy. No, I'm not on Leighton Lakes. We're currently on Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, Black Wolf. Uh, where haven't we gone recently? I mean, we didn't have anything here last time, so we might have some here now. Will I go back to Medved? Probably not, Kellen. Not gonna lie, I got tired of grinding Medved. Uh, seeing nothing but snow all the time, and then... Having the issues with respawns, like... I, I just enjoy Rev on Thule a lot more. Rev on Thule is just such a beautiful map, and the moose have been so consistent for me. So I feel like I'm just going to stick to Rev on Thule. But I mean, maybe in the future we'll uh, switch up the maps. Oh, we got two males. Holy. Two males side by side. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's the end of their time. Quick, get their attention. Take that. Oh my gosh. We got at least one. Nice, Mistrat. That's awesome. I hope you enjoy the game. It, it's quite a fun game. Definitely an awesome game to play. One of the great things about Call of the Wild is like, as of now, it's got so much content. Like, there's so many different maps to play. There's so many different ways you can play the game and have fun. Like, I think you're going to enjoy it, Mist. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's like a never-ending cycle of entertainment with this game. Can, can the great one spawn so I can go to bed? <laughs> we'll try to get it to spawn, man. I'm only doing what I can. I can't make them spawn, sadly. We gotta, we gotta rely on the RNG. But hopefully that, hopefully it'll pop up soon. Hopefully we'll get it soon. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300, or not 300, the 338 bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack Cassius. It's a pretty fun gun for bears. I don't normally like it on bigger stuff like moose and, oh, it's a mythical. 
Man, we've been getting some good mythicals and then that one legendary. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't normally like it on on bigger stuff like Moose or Cape Buffalo. But uh, for Black Bear, it is really good. Take that. <laughs> Can't get away if I keep shooting you. <laughs> oh, man. Why, why is that so entertaining? That poor bear is just dancing. He's just dancing over there. I will be doing some Angler eventually, uh, Brabra. Actually, I gotta record a video for Angler tomorrow. Most likely, I'm gonna record a video going for the Legendary Atlantic Salmon, as well as the Legendary Lake Trout, and I'll also include the footage of the Legendary Largemouth. So, like, tomorrow, I'm gonna record a pretty crazy Angler video if I can manage to catch both of the ones that I'm after. I'm excited for it. Angler is honestly getting really good. They made some massive improvements. And based on the little tidbits that Jaxi has been dropping on the streams, seems like the angler is going to be improving quite a bit soon. Like, definitely seems that way. Jaxi has dropped so many hints the last couple weeks. It seems like the angler is really going to be good by the time it releases on console, which is honestly so cool to hear. Did me and Lady collab? Yeah, we did, Micah. We did. We collabed probably, what was it, like four or five days ago, I think the video went live. And definitely a possibility of some more of that in the future. We've been talking about a little bit and definitely a possibility of you guys seeing some more collabs in the future. I had quite a bit of fun making that video with Lady. How do you unlock New Zealand on map on Angler? Are you talking about the Norway map? The Norway map you get by purchasing the DLC. Just like you would with call with the Hunter Call of the Wild. You gotta purchase the DLC. Oh, we got tracks. Mountain lion, oh no. Those evil mountain lions, man. What kind of great one moose did Lady get? It was a fabled birch typical rack. Literally my dream great one. Literally my dream great one. I'm, I, I want that trophy so bad. <laughs> Was a lot of fun for sure, lady. I loved it. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. How long would you guess it would take to get an albino red deer? In 200... Wait, hold on. I, I gotta read that again. Uh, How long would you guess it would take to get an albino buck red deer in 200 kills into my ground? Okay, I misread that the first time. Um, Well, the thing about it, man, is they're random. Like, rares are 100% random, so I, I have no way to know, like, how soon you could expect to see a rare. It could be five kills. It could be a thousand kills. It's it's really unpredictable. Rares are the most unpredictable thing in the game. Rares and great ones, to be honest. They're both very unpredictable. So unfortunately, I, I don't really have anything I could tell you there. Did I get my play button? Yeah, Max, I did. I actually did show it off on a stream. I ended up showing it off on the uh, early access stream for the Hunter Power Pack. Unfortunately, that was probably a mistake because a lot of people don't watch early access, so a lot of people didn't get to see me open up the play button. But yeah, we do have the play button, and eventually I'm going to get it mounted on my wall. They are rare them. Wow, Koi. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yeah, Max, yeah. If you go back to, um, if you go back in the live stream feed, like, if you go to my channel and then go to the live stream tab, and then scroll down till you see, like, a Hunter Power Pack Early Access, I opened it up in the beginning of that stream. So if you want to see it, it should be in there. Thank you, Ashton, I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. When I first got the game, I had trouble with a lot of stuff, was about to quit until I looked further into the game, got some tips from Lady Legend, then found you, and I've watched you ever since. That's awesome to hear, Black Wolf. That is awesome to hear, dude. Glad to be a help, as always. Really enjoy making all the content for you guys. It's what keeps me going. Boom. Take that. I like that one, Mr. Bear. Nice. 
Nice, Max. Nice. All right, let's see. Any more bears? Nope, just one. It's weird. Like, sometimes we get two bears here. Other times we get one. Is Way of the Hunter a fun game? Uh, if you like a more realistic play style in a hunting game, then yes, it's very good. The only issue that I have with Way of the Hunter is lack of long-term content. And that's, honestly, that's to be expected. It's a very young game. It's only been out for like a year. Maybe not even a year at this point. So Way of the Hunter, I, I don't expect it to be to that point yet. But that's one thing to know when you go into it. It doesn't have a ton of content once you've got all the five-star trophies. After you've hunted around enough and kind of have learned how to manage your animals and take down the bad genetics animals and leave the good genetics ones, like, after a while, you'll see five stars everywhere. And sadly, like, there's only four rare fur variations in the game. Only four animals have rares, and they don't look very realistic. So that's the only downfall of the game in my book, is the fact that it just does not have the long-term trophy hunting that other games like Classic and Call of the Wild have. But it's a very realistic game. Like, uh, Way of the Hunter's gotta be the most realistic game I've played in terms of hunting. The animations of the deer, the way they react to being shot, like, everything is so realistic. So if you want something super realistic and don't really care about, like, always trophy hunting, then it's a really good game. What do we got here? Nothing. This lake's a weird one, man. Like, sometimes I'll have, like, two or three bears here, and then I'll go through periods of just nothing for a very long time. Least amount of experience with Black Bear. Next time we'll probably not use HM. I don't blame you, lady. Like, I haven't been using herd management, and I've still had fun with it. Like, I, I feel like no HM is the way to go for bears. Right now, I feel like Whitetail is my favorite to herd manage. Bears are my least favorite, and then moose are kind of in the middle. And then we got red deer, which are very similar to whitetail. Oh, that was your first moose with the fur? Oh, that's right, because you got a bunch of commons like I did. We both had just commons for the longest time, that's right. I can't believe that literally your first fur is the one I've been after. <laughs> that's so lucky. That is so lucky. The birch is so beautiful. I mean, I'm happy with my two-tone, but the birch, oh my gosh, I want a birch so bad. Come on, any bears? This lake's been dead recently. Maybe I just need to not go here till the very end of the drink time. It's like there's been nothing here. Oh, and maybe, maybe now that we move further away, some of these will have rendered in. Let's see if we spook any out. Sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes they're just a little bit too close and they don't render in. Maybe now they'll have rendered in and spooked away because we fast travel. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Oh, no. Don't look, guys. Shield your eyes. This aim could make anybody go blind. <laughs> oh, gosh. Pronghorn track. Bison track. I just heard bears, though. I heard bears, and I'm picking up tracks from everything else. <laughs> that aim, though. Don't make fun of me, Caitlin. Ah. <laughs> it was bad, I know. That was bad. I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's gotta be, lady. Like, that, that was pretty crazy. You know, it's insane to think that, like, both you and I have super rares, right? But... Like, both of us have a great one moose is like one of our favorite trophies ever. Like that fabled two-tone with the big non-tip, that is my favorite trophy. And you're just and you were just saying that your uh favorite that you the craziest thing that's ever happened to you was that birch non-tip or that birch typical. Like it's crazy to think that great one moose are just that good. <laughs> I really hope they keep that streak up with future great ones. Because the Moose Great one was like above and beyond any other great one we've had in the game. It's just such an amazing great one. That's what I want to see out of great ones in the future. Like great ones that are so good 
that like it gives you memories as good as having a crazy super rare show up. Because I feel like that's what the great one should be about, right? Like, that's what they originally wanted it to be was, like, this insane trophy that, like, is unmatched by any other. Level 5? Level 5. Gosh, these bears are being mad consistent right now. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh gosh, it's happening again. Oh, it happened again. Oh man. Well, he's gone. Yeah, they definitely do keep getting better. I think the only exception maybe was... Actually, no, because... Yeah, I'd say the red deer is the only exception. Not gonna lie, having one fur type was quite a bummer. I feel like at first I really liked it more than the white tail, but after I hunted them a lot, just, I don't know, red deer great ones just don't do it for me anymore. They've only got four rack variations and all of them look almost identical and one fur. And then the white tail got six different racks that are drastically different. Moose have the most insane combinations of all with six furs and four racks for 24 different variations. And then the black bear have six really cool fur variations as well. Like, I think red deer were the only one that really, like, lacked. Oh, there's an ATV there. I should probably main menu. Uh, yeah, black wolf, I believe she did. I believe she already posted the video about the great one. I was wondering if you or lady got tips for black bear grind. Uh, yeah, I definitely have a few tips. What I would recommend with the black bear, now at first you're going to have to hunt your whole map because there's just black bear everywhere. Black bear are everywhere on Silver Ridge Peaks and every other map as well. So what I would do and what I would recommend doing is hunt your whole map, kind of see what your zones have, hunt the bears as you find them, and pay attention to which lakes consistently get a lot of males, and then eventually start gravitating towards just those lakes that get a lot of males. Like, for example, this lake is really good. And most of the lakes on the left side are actually the best, I'd say. Most of the lakes on the left side, and then... These two lakes over here, and maybe the ones at the top. To be honest, just the outskirts. The outskirts are the best. The middle lakes aren't as good. So you can probably avoid most of the middle ones. Though I believe Caitlyn has a lot of males here, so... You know, that's why I'm saying give it a look around. See what you like, see what you don't like. Because everybody's map's going to be slightly different. Do you think they'll ever add furs for Red Deer Great Ones? I hope so. I really hope so. I don't know if they will at this point, though. I imagine they're probably focused on, like, making new Great Ones. But I, I would love it if they'd make some new furs for them. I, I still think Fabled Leucistic for Whitetail and Red Deer would be a phenomenal choice. But I, I don't really know if they want to go back and redo some of the old ones. I mean, they still haven't redone true racks for whitetail and blacktail and a lot of the stuff we've been requesting, so I just couldn't see them going back for great one furs, sadly. But man, it would be incredible if they did. Bending Force is your favorite? Yeah, it's it seems like it's really good for you, Caitlin. I don't have any luck there, but it seems like you absolutely kill it over there. Ah, oh, I couldn't spot it. Oh, well. What's my favorite trophy lodge? Sasiki Safari. Easily. That lodge is just so good. Just because of the space that you have. No other trophy lodge is able to match it in just the amount of mounts you have. It's definitely more worth it than Spring Creek is if you're going to buy a lodge. I think visually I like Spring Creek better. Actually, Leighton Lake Trophy Lodge is the prettiest. Hey Ian, how's it going? Level 50 on the new playthrough? Nice, nice. Making progress, my dude. Making progress. 
Okay, is this the male we killed? It is. There we go. When are we going to get another rare bear? It's actually been a while. I feel like we're due for a, a rare bear. Caitlyn's bear game is just a different level. It really is, Chip. It really is. Especially Caitlyn's persistence with bears. Like, I take, I take so many breaks on the bear grind. Like, I'll grind them for a little bit, and then I'll stop for like a month or two. But Caitlyn just keeps going with those bears. The persistence is wild. Hey. Whoa, what are you doing? Fine. I, I mean, as long as you die right there, I don't, I don't care if you were crazy running everywhere. I'm not sure, Ashton. Not sure. I'd like to do collabs with a lot of people, but a lot of times it's not in my hands. It's a matter of what they want to do as well. I can only do so much in terms of, like, getting people to collaborate. Some people either just don't have the time or they may not want to collab or maybe they prefer doing, like, solo stuff. And it's just hard to get collabs going with a lot of people. Do we got any bears here? No, nothing there. Okay. Check this top lake up here. Um, I don't know, Kaylee. Not sure, actually. I haven't played Gen 2 in a little bit. I don't think I've ever got a grinder out of a drop, though. Last time I was playing Ark on Gen 2, I don't think I ever got a drop that had a uh, grinder in it, so... I don't think it can. Alright guys, I will be right back. I gotta grab another drink real quickly. Alrighty, I'm back, guys. Had to go grab another gra uh, grass? Grass? Yeah, grass. Grab grabbing some grass. No, not really. <laughs> Had to go grab another glass of uh, some crown apple. Now we're back, ready to go. While you were gone, a great one, Black Bear, came into your tent. I th would not surprise me. Would not surprise me. I know, Caitlin. <laughs> what a misspeak, am I right? <laughs> Man. 
Have I got a great one this stream? Sadly, no, Eli, I haven't. I really wish we had, though. But maybe it'll still happen, you know? The night is still young. We've only been live for an hour and 40 minutes. We got time. Let's see if we can make that great one pop up tonight. Nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's got to be one of the wildest misspoke, misspokes, misspeaks I've had, Caitlin. I feel like I just responded to you twice there. Struggle bus, always dynamic. Always. Lab with KG to hunt a deer IRL. Then Uncle Roger reviews the cook. <laughs> that baby fell blade. Hey Jebba, how's it going? We got a diamond so far, Jebba. We got a diamond bear early on in the stream. We've just been rotating on like five lakes and it's actually been going like super smooth. I finally got these bears to a spot where they're really consistent and I'm able to hunt them really quickly. I mean, nowhere near as quick as something like Whitetail, but still, we're getting them pretty quickly. Got a 268 diamond red deer. It's huge. Nice, Victor. That's crazy big. That is crazy big. Holy. Congrats, dude. Level five, man. We keep getting the five here. That's like three runs in a row where we just get a five to replace our five. You hate to see it. Was hoping we'd get, you know, two fives equals a ten. But, you know, apparently a five equals a five equals a five. Pretty sad. <laughs> But at least they're consistent. I mean, that's all I can really ask for. At least they're consistent. Could you imagine if there was a Great One Mule Deer, Carson? That would be pretty crazy. I still hope that one day we get a Great One Mule Deer. I know they like to stick to, like, base game maps for the most part with Great Ones, but let's be honest, they need to do a Mule Deer eventually. What is the best map to start a red deer grind? Uh, definitely Tiawaroa, right? I'd say, I'd say Tiawaroa is the best. Just shot a 238 piebald whitetail. That's a big piebald, Ronald. That is a big piebald. Pretty much any time you can get a piebald whitetail above, like, 215, I'd consider that to be a pretty big one. So that is huge. Level 6 bear. Thread the needle. What is the best spot for Black Bear? Uh, if I'm being honest, man, the whole map. <laughs> Black Bear are so spread out and very inconsistent, so it's, it differs a lot from one person's map to another person's map. Black Bear are one of the few species where I really can't give like a hot spot because I don't even know of a hot spot. Like, uh, I've got a few lakes that are really good for me, but then like for Caitlyn, those lakes aren't good for her, and she has other lakes that are really good. So, bears are one of those ones where I really can't give too much tips on, like, where to look for, like, the best spots. Bears are really inconsistent. They're, they're super strange the way they've got them. It, I think the big thing is just the fact that they're across the entire map. They can be at every single lake. Which definitely widens the area you have to go to find all of them. Oh, there we go. Take that. And that. Now let's go see. I heard a bear down here. We gotta go figure out what that was. Spots will get better the longer you grind them. Without HM, not sure how they are with HM. Oh, CJ was using HM on bears. He was talking to me about um, how he was getting a 9 every run the other day. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty wild. I wasn't sure if he was using HM, but I kind of assumed he probably was if he was getting a diamond every run. But yeah, I'm not using HM with the bears either, and I've definitely noticed that, Caitlin. Like, some zones, 
get really consistent over time. And then there's there's other zones that don't. Like I've noticed there's some areas where they there's some like a uh, respawns that still bounce between a couple lakes. But then there's others that are really consistent and always come back to the same spot. All right, let's go back up and grab that guy up there. Went 800 kills without a nine, so he went to HM and had nines popping. That's crazy. I'm wondering if maybe we should do like a, maybe we should manage this coastline and these lakes down here. Like do partial management. Try to get these lower lakes down to like fives and below and then uh, hunt normal around the rest of the map. I feel like that could get us to a point where we're getting like a diamond maybe every 50 or 60 kills. Which I think would be uh, pretty cool still. I think that would be a step up from what we're getting now. Hey Miles, how's it going? Level six right there. When's this great one going to show up, guys? When's this great one going to show up? Going crazy. How many kills are we at? Let's see. How fast are we killing them? So that's 20 bears in like what? Maybe 45 minutes ish. So like 46 in 46 minutes, we killed 20 bears. That's not terrible. I think we're going to be averaging around 30 an hour. What it seems like at least. We can maybe get that to be even better over time. We just got to refine this uh, grind more. Oh, there's a seven. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely a decent average dynamic. We're probably getting between like 25 and 30 per hour, which is definitely not bad. That's about on par with what our moose grind was like on Medved at first. Like the first half of our moose grind on Medved was about the same, so I'll take it. Anytime I can get above 20 bears an hour, I'm happy. Yeah, Morgan, I'm using the 338. 338 bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack. Really awesome rifle. One of my favorites. That's just, that's crazy for me to even think about, Cooper. Like, I can't get anywhere near that. And I've got my zones pretty, pretty good at this point. Oh, and also, guys, just wanted to, just wanted to put it out there. Possibility of a, a collab happening soon. With a creator I have not done a collab with before. I'm going to tell you right now, though, it's not KG, sadly. But, uh... I think it'll be quite a bit of fun. I don't know if he has announced... If he's announced it yet, so I don't want to spoil it if he hasn't. But there will be a collab coming up soon that should be pretty fun. I don't know if it's going to be like uh, within a week or two weeks or three weeks, but we're trying to figure out a time to do it. Just know definitely some more collaborations coming in the future for like a 
Probably live streams. It's going to be a live stream collab, most likely. But it'll be fun. It should be fun. That I can tell you. I'll have to talk to him, and once I get the okay from him, I'll uh, let you guys know exactly who it is. Ooh, I just got an interesting suggestion from somebody in the comments of today's video. Somebody suggested using the soft points for the 470. I never thought of that. I mean, I, I guess that might make sense since the 470 does not get crazy penetration at long range. Maybe like, maybe the soft point would be good because you're only getting single long anyway. That actually could be a pretty good uh, tip right there. Yeah, it's not KG. It's not Pro XCK, no. I would like to do something with Pro eventually, though. Pro XCK is cool. We got a bear here. Come here, you little stinker. That should be a hit. I don't see why that wouldn't be. I'll give you guys another hint. I've never done a collaboration with them before. But it's not Kendall Gray. And it's not Pro XCK. Who else do you think it would be? Actually, now that I think of it, there's two collaborations coming with people that I haven't done stuff with before. There's two of them on the horizon. <laughs> Another five. Oh, there's another! Come back here! I didn't see you. Ah, now I'll never get to spot it. <laughs> really wanted to know what that was. Man. Well, I've already done collabs with DD and Flinter, so it wouldn't be them, uh, Talon. I've already done collabs with both of them. Yeah, technically, Jebby, you're right. I, I did technically do a stream with CJO today, but I wasn't actually streaming. I was just kind of hanging out and chatting with them. So yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one. It is, one of them is CJO. I'm going to do something with CJO pretty soon. Uh, it's actually going to be CJO and Brobra. We're going to do a challenge. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Definitely excited for that. But the other one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. You guys probably will not expect it. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be so much fun. I'm so excited for it. In fact, I'm going to message him right now and see if he's awake. We'll see if he uh, if he replies to the message this late. It's a bit late, so we'll we'll see. Lady Legend, I already did a collab with Lady Legend Omega, but we'll definitely do some more in the future. Definitely some more uh, collabs with Lady to come. Very interesting to see some of the uh, see some of the guesses here. Definitely interesting to see some of the guesses, though. I'm I'm not gonna tell you if you guys have guessed it correctly yet. You gotta, gotta leave a little bit of mystery. <laughs> Got 
Gotta, gotta keep it a, li a little bit mysterious, you know? It's almost for sure Joe Rogan. Yes, Joe Rogan. Brobra small game hunt with Gordon Ramsay. Yes, we hunt we hunt Tarm again on Brobra's Revon Tuli, and then we we uh, ask Gordon Ramsay to show us a good Tarmigan recipe. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Oh my gosh, that that's actually an awesome idea for a video. Now that I think of it, imagine a video where. We hunt like feral pigs or something and then at the end of the video I cut to me and my wife cooking some pork chops and be like all right now that we got those pigs we're gonna we're gonna cook them up on the stove you know uh, lather them in some barbecue sauce we're gonna cook them up real good tell you what that could be amazing <laughs> I probably would never do that though but that would be hilarious. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, Caitlin, for sure. <laughs> Gotta be Mr. Beast, definitely, definitely. I'm gonna give you guys another hint. You guys have either not guessed it, or only a couple have guessed it. And by the looks of it, there's at least three or four options that, that could be based off of y'all's guesses. So yeah, it's it's between those four. I buy, Jaxie, Poon, or Gruntly. It, it's between those four. And I'm not gonna tell you anything else. That's 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 the most I'm telling you guys until until I know for sure. Until until I get confirmation from them that that they're ready to announce it. But it's somebody in that mix. Somebody in that mix. Either way, though, I'm pretty excited for it. It's going to be fun. Level five. Uh, level six. Uh, yep. I mean, it's better than a five, but not that much better than a five. Sorry, little guy. You're getting whatever angles I can shoot you at. Yeah, that would be sick, Chip. That would be sick. All of them? Uh, how'd you know, Caitlin? How'd you know? Yeah, Darth Sloan's cool, Omega. I, I have I can tell you right now, it's not Darth Sloan that I'm collabing with, but I wouldn't mind doing some stuff with him in the future. He seems pretty cool. I, I've watched a couple of his videos, and it seems that we share a lot of like same uh Opinions on the game and like beliefs on the game. So I wouldn't mind doing something with uh, with Sl with Darth Sloan at some point He seems pretty cool To be honest guys, there's a lot of creators I'd love to do some collabs with and I think in the future. I'm going to start doing a lot more Because I really feel like it's good to It's good to do collabs with people from all corners of the community I really do. I feel like it's good to do collabs with everybody. And I feel like in the past I haven't done enough of that. Oh, Doe Slayer is awesome, Coopers. Doe is hilarious. Like he's gotta be one of the, he's gotta be the funniest Call of the Wild streamer I've ever watched. <laughs> like Doe's great. Doe is awesome. Yeah, Darth is pretty awesome, lady, for sure. Darth is awesome. He seems very chill and laid back too. Who's my favorite boxer, favorite professional wrestler of all time? I don't really watch wrestling or boxing, Caleb. 
Um, my dad watched a lot of like UFC fighting when I was growing up, so I I've really only watched like UFC. That's the primary thing that I watched. And Chuck Liddell was always one of my favorites. Chuck Liddell was just a beast. Come on, give us a great one or a level four. That's good too. <laughs> Aggressive. Oh, you silly mountain lion. You, you really messed up if you're making that bear go aggressive. You know, it takes a lot to make a black bear go aggressive. So this mountain lion must have like stole its soup or something. Oh, it just swiped at it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys saw that because I, I moved the scope too quick, but it swiped at the dead mountain lion. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Gave us a perfect shot on this bear too. Nice. Uh, yeah, Flames, we, uh, we did a collaboration with Lady recently, actually. We did a, a kind of a guide that could be used for any grind you want to start, regardless of how you're grinding. Uh, you should be able to apply the tips to, a uh, to that grind. We did that very recently. I, to be honest, I need to make a command for that video because I, I feel like it could be applied to a lot of different situations. In fact, let me make that command right now before I forget about it. Because if I don't make it now, I will forget. I, I forget things very easily. You guys may hear me in the background because I'm going to have to... Actually, I can just copy it right here. There we go, and let's go to Nightbot. Make a command real quick. We'll just make it exclamation point lady for the lady collab. Oh gosh, my typing is so bad right now. Buzzed crow can't type, guys. I'm sorry. It's going to be a second. Got to make sure I set it up properly. Okay, we're good to go. Command should be good. Command should be made. There we go. So yeah, so members and moderators should be able to use exclamation point uh, lady. The only guide you will ever need for any grind featuring lady legend. And then there's the link right there. So that will be, uh, that's the link to the video. We go over a ton of tips that can be used for any grind you want to start. Uh, it will be helpful for whatever type of grind you plan on doing. Oh, I don't take offense to anything, Fellblade. Everybody's got their own style of like uh, editing with their content. I got a, I got a pretty simplified style with a lot of my stuff. Yeah, Cooper, first one to use the command. To be on, to be honest, uh, Fellblade, like guides aren't normally my thing. Like I don't do a lot of guides, and so when I do do them, I don't always know how to like uh, put them together to make them like the best. I just try to get as much information as I can in them, but uh, I'll admit my my editing is definitely not on point for guides compared to like the other content I make. 
It's definitely not up to par with like some of the other stuff I do. Trying to get back into guide content though, because I know a lot of you find that stuff very useful. So I've been trying to do a little bit of it recently. Level six. When am I ending this stream? To be honest, I don't know, Troy. Most of the time with these streams, I kind of just go until I don't want to go anymore. Sometimes it'll be two hours, sometimes it'll be four hours, sometimes seven on rare occasions. I, I've really been enjoying this bear grind, not gonna lie. Like, this has been a lot of fun, so... This stream could go for another hour. Do you need to be a member to do it? Yes, commands are... Oh. Oh! Let's go! It's a cinnamon! <laughs> We got a cinnamon bear! Hunter! Do you see this? We got a cinnamon bear! Oh my gosh! I didn't even notice it was cinnamon! You see what I was saying earlier, guys? It's so hard to tell when it's a cinnamon bear! <laughs> oh my gosh! We got a cinnamon! It's a gold, too! It's a gold level 6! That's amazing! Holy! <laughs> wow, that's so awesome. I love- I don't know why, but I just love seeing the cinnamon bears. Even though they're the easiest black bear rare to get, I love them so much. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Let's get a nice uh, screenshot of that. That's a cool pose, too. That's a really cool pose. That is so awesome, guys. So we got a diamond and a rare on the night. That is, like, huge. We've probably killed about 60 bears. Probably about 60 bears over the last two hours. So to get one rare and one diamond, that's really good. That is really good. What a cool trophy. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh no, just hit zero. We gotta quickly go to these, uh, zones. Next thumbnail? I mean, yeah, that one was in the perfect pose for a thumbnail. Honestly, I might make this into a video. Like, we've got two good trophies tonight. I might make a, uh, bear hunting video soon. That, like, producing- it really is! You're right, that was the same one that had the diamond. That lake is on fire right now. Wait, where'd that bear go? Did it de-render? Oh, no, it de-rendered. Oh, well, let's go to my favorite lake. We'll see what this one has. How many kills total? Um, since we just killed 60, let me see. So, counting the 60 that we've killed tonight, about 3,850. Yeah, about 3,850. Okay, okay, I just got confirmation to uh, let you guys know about the collab. It's Jaxie Beard. Jaxie and I are going to do a stream soon. Uh, Jaxie's been trying to get his channel started up again, and so... Uh, Jaxie and I are going to do a stream soon, guys. And it's going to be a fun time, I'll tell you. It's going to be a fun time. I'm excited. Jaxie and I have been chatting quite a bit recently. I've been getting to know him quite well. And uh, it's going to be so fun to do some stuff with him. Like, I have just been dying to, to jump into a game with him and have some fun. Because Jaxie's always been, like, very much like a, a super fun-loving guy. Always is trying to like just have fun with whatever we're doing. So I, I've been very excited to jump into a game with him. So yeah, it's a Jaxie Beard collab. It's pretty soon, guys. We'll have a Jaxie collab. We'll have a uh, CJO collab. Lots of cool stuff coming. I'm very excited. And as always, let me know if there's anybody else you'd like me to collab with in the future. 
I definitely want to bring more people onto the live streams, that's for sure. Yeah, Ian, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. Now, as of now, I don't know if we want to do Angler or Call of the Wild or if we're going to do both. I mean, I feel like we'll probably do multiple streams. I definitely think we'll probably do multiple streams, but for sure some, some Call of the Wild, I would imagine. For sure some Call of the Wild. Hey, Pancake, tonight's been actually pretty awesome. We got a Cinnamon Bear and we also got a diamond as well. Uh, we got a diamond that was like 0.44 above diamond. And we got a level 6 cinnamon that made gold. So it's been a great night for trophies. Like an amazing night for trophies. I'm uh, not sure yet, Nick. I haven't decided. Um, we've kind of just said that we're going to do it. We haven't actually decided on what we're going to do. We, at this point, we just know that we're going to do a collab at some point. A great one lion would be amazing, Flames. We got anything over here? Nope. What about down here? Welcome back, Ryder. How's it going, dude? Oh, nice, Pancake. That's awesome. Always a fun time, man. Ah, you stupid bear. Getting away like that. That's just uncalled for. Why would you run away from the guy that's trying to grind a great one? Like, come on, man. We need a Jaxi Beard skin in the game? Like... Yeah, that would, not gonna lie, that'd be pretty amazing, Ian. Could you imagine being able to use, like, Jaxi Beard's beard on your character in-game? That'd be fire! That'd be amazing! Oh, oh, we got double level fours! Man! Two tapping them all. Oh, that hit it. Wow, I'm surprised that that hit. It's a good game, the Hunter uh, 5914. It's a good game. A lot of fun. Got some bears there and two bears there. Nothing more, though. Man. Hey, SCP, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're enjoying the uh, stream. Beard versus ponytail fight. <laughs> Gotta get Caitlyn on the angler so you all can do the first with diamond on it like you do on Call of the Wild. Hey, man, we've been trying. We've been trying to get Caitlyn to join the angler, but she refuses. And I mean, what can I say? I'm not going to force her to play it if she doesn't want to. That would just not be kind. But it would be fun if Caitlyn would join the angler. That would be fun. Do you know any good hunting games? Uh, yeah. Call of the Wild's great. Uh, Way of the Hunter is a good game if you want a realistic experience. The Hunter Classic is always great if you play on PC. To be honest, though, those are really the only three hunting games I would recommend. Most of the other ones are pretty mediocre at best. Um, I don't recommend the hunting simulator games because their development team is very shady. And, uh, tends to, I mean, every project they've ever released has been updated once or twice and then completely abandoned. So, I don't recommend the hunting simulator games. But, Call of the Wild, the Hunter Classic, and Way of the Hunter are all very good options for games. And which one you choose really depends on, uh, what type of experience you want. Yeah, it's unfortunate too, Drawn, because, like, it had a good base, like, not gonna lie, I was pretty disappointed when Hunting Simulator 2 didn't turn out to be what we wanted it to, because it could have been so good. 
it could have been so good. Like, they had really good weapons. They had, like, IRL brands. They had good customization. They had decent animal models for some of the animals. But then, like, other animals really lacked in quality. And the AI for the animals was just bad overall. I really wish Hunting Simulator 2 could have been good, but... Sadly, it just didn't uh, meet expectations. It was fun for like a month and then it was, I was over it at that point. We forgot about this mountain lion. <laughs> hey buddy. Not gonna lie, I probably shouldn't have claimed it. If I just left it there, then it wouldn't have come back and terrorized my bears. I probably should have just left it there, but that's whatever. How do you get the cool reload animation? You have to use, you have to get level three on the lightning hands perk. Lightning hands perk makes your reloads faster, and so it uh it, it changes the animations to make it go quicker. After running great stream crow, have a great night, everybody. Thank you, lady. Appreciate you stopping by. It was awesome to have you here. I hope you have a good night. Thank you so, so much. Was hoping to come back and you found him. I know, Optic. I, I wish we found the great one, but we have not found it yet. We did get a cinnamon bear, though. We got a cinnamon bear and a diamond so far, so it's been really good. It, it's been a good night. We've had some good trophies. Not gonna lie, I've been liking the bear grind tonight. I've been having a lot of fun with this. This is probably the most fun I've ever had grinding bears. Oh. Five. What is it with a level five always coming back to this lake? That's crazy. Guys, I think that's like four level fives in a row at this lake. That is just insane. Why do we always get level fives here? What great one bear fur type do I want the most? Hmm. Probably fabled chestnut, but I would not mind getting a spirit or a fabled cream. I any of those three I'd be really happy with. Let's make it five. Yep, let's make it five. I mean, that's the third or fourth time that we've had it there. Might as well make it a fifth time. Nice, SCP. That's awesome, dude. All right, Ian, later, dude. Thank you for dropping in, as always. Hope you had an awesome time watching. That's just one bear here? I think it is. It was a boar? Nice, SCP. Nice. Wild boar trophies are pretty rare, so that's pretty good to get a gold of them. Four times five equals 20, which means two great one bears. I mean, you got the best calculations I've ever seen, Bentley. Or, uh, Troy. I read the wrong name. It's okay, though. What do we got here? Nothing there. Ah, uh, feels bad. How long am I streaming tonight? I uh, kind of just however long I can go, man. I mean, typically my daughter goes to bed at like 9.30 or 10. 
It's currently 8.37 p.m. for me. I live on West Coast, so it's uh, one of the, like, I guess, further, f farthest back times, time zones. So right now it's like 8.30, 8.38 to be exact. So she'll probably be going bed in, going to bed in like an hour. I can probably stream for another hour. So we'll see. We're going to keep going as long as we can because I'm having a lot of fun right now. These bears, for once, are being enjoyable. I'm just happy we got a consistent run going with these bears, man. Like, I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving it. And this ain't even McDonald's. So, you know, you know that I'm loving it. Nothing there. Okay, let's check this zone. Let's check this one right here. For the first time in forever. <laughs> yeah, dynamic, yeah. I, I I hate to say it, but I'm liking the bears. I'm loving the bear grind. It's crazy, but I'm loving the bear grind. Hey, get back here, silly bears. That's crazy to see two bears over on that side. That's crazy. Oh man, Optic. I haven't listened to the Black Eyed Peas in so long. I remember when I was a kid, I used to listen to them all the time. And then after a while, I started to listen to like different kinds of music. Man. I remember that was one of the songs I loved when I was a kid. You know, it's so crazy to look back and like see the contrast in stuff I liked as a kid versus stuff that I like now. Wild to see. Wild to see. Sing, sing you guys a song? I mean, I think at this point it's pretty clear you guys don't like the songs that I make. I make I make little songs about the great one and stuff all the time and you guys all boo it. What do we got over here? Whoa. I picked up your track, but you're not even- Oh. I, apologies, sir. I was gonna- I was gonna really trash you there and say that you weren't in your zone, but it's clear you are. I- I apo- I apologize, Mr. Black Bear. I was about to just go off on this Black Bear for having tracks but not being in his zone. And he was. Thank you, Black Wolf. Appreciate it. Okay, Optic, I I can sing that. I can sing that. I'll do. I'll give you guys a little bit. Okay. I got a feeling that the great one is coming real soon. That's all you get. That's all you get. That was like a like a like a half butted attempt to put it PG. <laughs> Does the night vision scope fit on the 338? Yes, it should fit on all of the rifles. I don't use the night vision scope though, just because I mean it it's like it's super low zoom levels. That was something, I guess. Exactly, that's all I intended it to be, so. <laughs> That's all I needed. Oh, stupid mountain lion. Okay. We're not claiming this one this time. Let's just pop him and leave him here. Those stupid mountain lions are ruining everything for us. We're trying to shoot Black Bear here. Chill. Gosh. Imagine being a mountain lion just ruining everybody's hunts. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, man. Made me shed a tear. <laughs> That's amazing, Joseph. <laughs> Double bears. A five and- Dude, another five! What is it with fives? We keep getting fives in this lake. I'm tired of seeing a five here. Holy. Why do we keep getting fives here?
That's insane. Just, <laughs> we've gotten like five runs in a row with a level five. That's insane. That is just insane. Freaking level fives. They just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't listen to Max. Don't spam. Don't listen to Max. I think everybody agrees that mountain lions suck. Just don't, don't spare my chat. <laughs> There's the level five. Where's the six? No organs hit. Are you kidding me? All right, whatever. I guess no organs hit. Thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs> Make a law for a song by Crow Every String. I'm to be honest, Koi, I'm not sure what that sentence means. I'm gonna be i I'm gonna be real with you. I I have no idea what you mean by that. Five? Oh, seven. Okay. Love to see it. A five and a seven. No, 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 no. Don't float. Don't float. No, no, no. Don't float. Yeah, yeah, Cooper, that makes sense. I go to this lake a lot. This lake is just really good. I think I'm only hunting, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only hunting seven lakes, so yeah, it makes sense that you would look up and see the same lake most of the time. Jeez, Ghost, it's 544 where you are? Dude, why are you up watching live streams? I mean, I appreciate it, but holy, 544. That is early. Either you've been staying up all night or you woke up early. That's wild, dude. Hyperion scope, uh, skyrocket. No need to spam, dude. I saw it the first time. Gotta give me time to look at it. It's a law saying you have to sing every stream. I mean, I don't think I, I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember any type of like agreement that I had to sing every stream. Oh, you're up all night? Jeez, ghost. Well, I mean, get some rest at some point, man. Don't want to overwork yourself. So we have had nothing at this lake in ages. All right, later, Cash. Thank you for dropping in. Seven and five. Holy. All right, later. Troy, thank you for dropping by. As always, dude. Really appreciate it. Where are these freaking bears? Where did I kill this thing? Like, it's blood's right there. Oh, I'm blind. Scarecrow is blind, guys. Either that or the highlight didn't show up. One or the other. What do you guys think it was? Was Scarecrow blind or did the highlight not show up? Who knows? It was one or the other. Oh, a little. I mean, yeah, definitely. Definitely, Joseph. Definitely. I mean, I'm on glass number two, so.
Jaxie recommended the uh, the Crown Royal to me, and uh, not gonna lie, he was right. It's freaking amazing. It's so good, so good. Like, it, I think it might be my new favorite. It might be one of my new favorites. The Crown Royal Apple. Oh, it's so good. It is so flavorful. Nothing here. Probably, Cooper. Probably at this point. I could totally see that happening. How much longer am I going to stream? Uh, probably another 30 to 45 minutes. Next like is a great one. That'd be amazing, man. That'd be so amazing if we got a great one here. Yeah, go for it, Elder. To be honest, Max, I have no clue what I would choose there. Anything cool yet? Yeah, Hunter M, we got a couple cool things. We got a cinnamon level six, and then we got a diamond as well. A diamond and a level six cinnamon. It's been a good night. It's been a good night. How do I hit every shot? I play on PC, so I use keyboard and mouse, and if you use low sensitivity on your mouse, it is very easy to recover every shot. Not just that, but also memorizing like how far you need to pull down to compensate for the recoil. It gets you on point like really quickly. Like I play on like 950 DPI and then I do like a very low sensitivity. If we look in here, I use 57% look sensitivity and 65% aim sensitivity with my 950 DPI setting on my mouse and so I can get pretty accurate shots and then the other half of it is just using the recoil management perk as well as just compensating every time you shoot every time I shoot I pull down on my mouse Great one, next three runs. See, now that's a little bit more realistic. Maybe. See. We will see. Hopefully. Can you stream to YouTube from Xbox? Yes, but it requires a PC to have. You have to have a PC in order to stream from an Xbox. Because what you have to do is you have to connect the Xbox to a capture card. And then you connect the capture card to a uh, PC. And then you can run it through OBS or like another uh, streaming service or a streaming uh, pro plat. What's the word? Recording software. That's the word. Streaming and recording software. So, like, either way, you're going to need a PC if you want to stream. The only other way to work around that would be to stream straight from your phone. Which, let's be honest, most people don't want to do that. Using your phone to, like, record your TV would not be good quality. So, I don't recommend it. Oh, there's the bear. So yeah, like at the end of the day, if you want to stream to YouTube, you probably will need a PC to get the best quality possible. And in some situations, it's required. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and end it. I know I said it would be like 30 to 45 minutes, but I probably need to go down and get something to eat. I, To be honest, I've only had two meals today. 
It's like 9 p.m. and I've only ate two meals. I, I ate it like 11 and then I ate it like five and I haven't ate since. So yeah, <laughs> I should probably go get some food. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. This was a fun stream. Two and a half hours of some awesome bear grinding. Definitely uh, got some cool trophies as well. That cinnamon as well as that diamond. Definitely a good night of grinding. I'm happy with it. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. And uh, we'll be back probably not tomorrow, but Sunday. We'll be back Sunday. I mean, possibly tomorrow. We sometimes do evening streams on Saturday, but for sure on Sunday we'll be here. So thank you so much. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.